You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Alex Biston with your next weather forecast. It is 310 on this Thursday afternoon looking live and we are seeing a mostly cloudy sky. So really the heaviest rain has now passed across Southern California. We are just picking up a few lingering showers. In fact, we will take a very short break from the wet weather as we head into tomorrow. But that next round of rain and that heavier round of rain is going to arrive as soon as Saturday night. That is going to impact us for multiple days. So we are looking at a significant threat for flooding as we head into the second half of the weekend and of course into next week too. We'll get to that in just a second. Want to show you some of the rainfall reports. So this is over the past day. Long Beach close to three inches of rain. Seal Beach very similar over two and a half inches of rain just over two and a quarter in Malibu. Downtown Los Angeles over an inch and a half of rain under an inch and a quarter in Ontario and Saugus under an inch of rain. So as we take a look at the satellite and radar picture right now. We are seeing yes again. Most of that heavier rain has now moved just to the south and out to the east of us. It is moving over southern Nevada and into Arizona too. When we zoom you in, uh, you can see that we are just picking up a few lingering snow showers up in the mountains, rain showers too, especially up toward I-5 and up toward Santa Barbara County too. So we do still have the flood watch. This is with us through Friday morning across Orange County, the Inland Empire, as well as some of our our desert communities. So flooding still a, a concern. We also still have the uh, winter weather advisory as well as the winter storm warning for our local mountains. So two to six inches of snow possible. That's between about 6,000 to 7,000 feet. I want to show you the future cast. This is going to map out the next day or so for you. And as we head through this evening again, a few lingering showers by tomorrow morning here, six o'clock in the morning, actually some areas picking up a little bit of sunshine. So look for a mix of sun and clouds, a few lingering showers possible, especially across the mountain and foothill communities as we head into the afternoon hours. By Saturday morning, 945, we are already seeing those clouds thicken up across Ventura County, the LA Basin and pushing into Orange County. So we are looking at that next round of rain that's going to arrive as early as Saturday night. So we're tapping into the, our atmospheric river here. So we are talking about multiple days of steady rainfall and heavy rainfall of that. So that is going to cause significant flooding issues. So we're talking about rain beginning Saturday night into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday too. So this is absolutely an event that we will continue to watch and of course monitor for you because we're looking at some significant rainfall totals with this. LA Orange County temperatures in the low 60s as we head into tomorrow and guess what? Cool and wet conditions will be the story for the extended period. So we're looking at that next round of rain setting up Saturday night and we will see that rain continue Sunday, Monday, heavy at times Tuesday with showers possible into Wednesday. So we'll continue again to uh, fine tune the forecast for you as we head into the second half of the weekend and into next week. That is your next weather forecast. We're going to send it over to Jeff Nguyen, who has more from Long Beach. Jeff Nguyen here in Long Beach and we are near the intersection of Willow and Sepulveda and as you can see right behind us, the street here is completely flooded after heavy rains came down early this morning. As we walk in this direction, you can see we're going to count them off one, two, three cars that have been submerged and the cars were basically submerged at around seven o'clock this morning. One of the drivers called for help at about 720 or so. We did get to speak to the driver of a Mazda that is uh, underneath that water right now. You can see how high the flood level is because nearly the entire Mazda, that darkened black car right there is completely covered in water. That driver tells us that she was driving through this area at about 6.50, 7 o'clock this morning. She noticed a number of cars going through. She says the problem here is that she believes that there are plenty of potholes and so she may have hit one of the potholes and that caused her to be stuck in the water. Every time she pressed on the gas, the wheel would spin, but she was going nowhere. Luckily for her, when she was stuck in the water, there were a couple of guys that drove through in a work truck and they were able to help her. What they did was they were able to ask her to roll down her window. She crawled out, got into the work truck, and then they were able to drive her to a higher ground. And over here, you can see uh, what we are talking about because there is higher ground right here. 
uh, a work crew has been brought in with a pump to basically drain all of the water out of this area. That hose line is going right up the freeway on-ramp. On the other side, there is a uh, drainage basin. So the firefighters out here say that right now, because of the water level, it is just simply too dangerous to bring in tow trucks to pull all of these uh, cars out. Earlier, there were four cars total. One of them was towed, but right now, three cars are still submerged. And so crews are hoping to drain out much of this water before the uh, tow truck right there can come in and start towing the rest of the cars out. We'll have more for you on this throughout the day on KCOW News beginning at 4 p.m. I'm Amanda Starantino in Wrightwood where the snow it has arrived. It started coming in overnight and the snow is really coming down this morning. So we're definitely catching plenty of skiers that are on their way up to the mountain to hit the slopes this weekend with all this snow. We're actually at the chain stop because you have to be able to put on your chains before getting up the mountain. So that's going to be really important if you are planning to come up to Wrightwood to do some skiing or snowboarding. CHP is here regulating that and you're going to see those signs too right up there. It says chains are required. So we're actually going to do that on our truck right now before we get up to the mountain fully, but we definitely have some snow here. Businesses are stoked about it to have some snow. They said business has been a little bit slow so far this year, so this is going to be great for they for them. They said, bring it on and you can hear it in my voice. It's actually kind of cold here, so make sure you bundle up as well. But uh, they also said they really want people to be careful and be safe, so make sure you drive really cautiously up here. Take it slow on these roads. They're very slick. We are seeing some wet roads and icy conditions as well, so be aware of that. But overall, hey, it's beautiful. I kind of want to build a snowman since I can't go skiing, but enjoy the snow, enjoy the weekend, just be safe. We'll have more coming up on KCAL.